Lake Victoria Environmental Management Project Phase 2, LAVEM 2, is an East African community project under implementation in the five countries that share the Lake Victoria Basin, Burundi, Kenya, Rwanda, Tanzania, and Uganda. It is a transboundary project designed to achieve two development global environmental objectives. Firstly, the project is meant to improve collaborative management of transboundary natural resources of Lake Victoria Basin, and secondly, reduce environmental stress in the targeted pollution hotspots and selected degraded subcatchments as a means of improving the livelihoods of communities who depend on the natural resources of the basin. The project comprises four main components. Strengthening institutional capacity for managing shared water and fisheries resources, point source pollution control and prevention, watershed management, and project coordination and management. Ten years old. lakini kwa sasa hii hewa tu peke yake inafanya kazi. Labda kama ile raba yake inakisha maana ni karibu shilingi milioni moja. Hiyo ndio karama mimi nataka kuwa nayo. Na mtu anaweza kuongoza na kuendeleza hili mtu. Lakini kwa kwa sasa umeona manufaa ya kuchunga mazingira. Pombe zako zitapata maji. Ndio sasa kusuti nimewaja hiyo. Lake Victoria is the second largest fresh water body in the world by surface area. It is a very important water body for the livelihood of people, particularly those living in its basin. The lake is currently facing many problems such as serious environmental degradation, pollution and overfishing. Mismanagement of wetlands is another problem threatening the hydrological and ecological balance of the lake. Direct anthropogenic activities such as irrational use of wetlands for agriculture, pollution and conversion of wetlands into settlement areas are responsible for wetland degradation and loss. Problems of sedimentation as a result of agricultural activities, hydrological changes of wetlands due to road construction and subsidence of wetlands due to excessive extraction of water are indirect results of human actions. started with the, with the team in Kenya, we have seen quite a number of projects. We have seen a lot of community groups and a lot of effort that the communities have put in towards getting their projects going. So again, we want to appreciate the local communities because they have made their contribution. The good thing about CDD is that it is a community demand driven kind of development. So the community groups know what it is their need is, they have raised their need they have gotten funded and they have made their contribution. So you have seen from each of the projects we have gone, it is not just Levemp money that is there. There is community contribution which has constituted quite a lot of the, of the money that the, that the projects are made up of.
the Lake Victoria Environmental Management Project Phase 2 joined the rest of the world in marking the World Wetland Day on 2nd February 2014. The colorful event, whose theme was Wetlands and Agriculture, Partners for Growth, was held in Busende Primary School in Busia County, Kenya, with participation of the Levem 2 regional and national teams. The World Wetlands Day is commemorated on 2nd February each year today to mark the date of the adoption of the Convention on Wetlands in the Iranian city of Ramsar. During the celebrations, it was a beehive of activities with colorful exhibition stands. Standing among them was the Levem 2 Kenya stand in which Levem 2 team showcased their achievements, their contribution towards conservation of wetlands around the Lake Victoria Basin. Levem 2 Kenya took the opportunity to disseminate knowledge products generated by projects in the past four years. Wetlands and Agriculture Partners for Growth. We need to know the boundary for the wetland so that before we tell our communities not to encroach, they are very sure that Indio Mpaka, Usivuke, Manake tisipokuwa na Mpaka, hatuwezi kuambia mbona mlivuka, walivuka wakaenda wapi. Kwa hivyo, tunawajibika kama serikali ya county na national government, tuakikishe kwamba tumejua mipaka ya wetlands. Uh, tunaambiwa kwamba katika wetlands regulations 209 ni mita sita kutoka mto ndogo uh, the highest watermark huo mto ukiwa na maji imejaa uh, alama yake itakuwa ni wapi sasa hiyo alama ni mita sita lakini ikiwa ni mto mkubwa na wetlands uh, zenyewe tunaambiwa kwamba kama lakes ni 30 meters uh, and oceans ni 60 meters. Kwa hivu ni lazima tujue hizi bipimo ili tunapo wahimiza wanainchi wasivuke tujue mpaka iko wapi. We want communities to grow trees as commercial ventures. Sio kupanda tu bora nimepanda. 
So ladies and gentlemen, you find that the key messages that we have given you provides us a very good opportunity for partnership between county governments and national governments to join hands and conserve wetlands. <laughs> Prior to the big day, the other partners from East African states were invited to take a tour around the Lake Victoria Basin and exchange ideas. The teams were then divided into two to ensure that all wetlands were paid a visit. Kwa ajili ya uhifadhi wa udongo na maji, jinsi wenzetu wa Kenya mnavyo fanya ili tuweze kujifunza. Kama kutakuwa na mapungufu basi, tuweze kwenda kufanya badiriko kwa uhifadhi wa udongo na maji katika bonde la mwambao wa ziwa Victoria. The memorable celebration started with cleanup exercise in Busia town, which was flagged off by Busia County Minister for Environment and the representatives from five East Africa community partner states in commemoration of World Wetlands Day. The team visited River Siositeko wetland to explain to the riparian communities the role of the wetlands towards realizing the 2014 theme, Wetlands and Agriculture as Partners for Growth. This is in recognition that wetlands have often been seen as a barrier to agriculture, being drained and reclaimed to make more farming land available. So, to give up, uh, Tukona over 200,000 chips filled. Like ni sila siko na miche ni almost 100,000. Alafu tunangojea, munaona sehemu hiyo ingine. Tulupo funswa kuhusu sustainability. Tukaona ya kwamba ingawa tuna, tunangangana na manene ya environment. Pia sisi lasma tujimarike kimaisha. Tukasema sasa, kwa sababu isi tutasipanda katika manyumbani mwetu na tupanda katika isile chemi chemi na ile river bank management. Kama sasa isi saa kienyechi tutasipeleka kule.
Lavemp2 Kenya took the opportunity to disseminate knowledge products generated by project in the past four years. The event was graced by Dr. Alice Kaudia, Environment Secretary in the Ministry of Environment, Water and Natural Resources, Kenya, on behalf of the chief guest. The celebrations organized by National Environment Management Authority, Kenya, was well attended with representatives and sponsors from parastatals, government departments, institutions, as well as key partners like the County Government of Busia, the Royal Danish Embassy, Wetlands International Kenya, United Nations Agencies, Mumia Sugar Company, and Lake Victoria Basin Commission, Lake Victoria Environment Program 2, Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, Tanzania, and Burundi, among others.